and my polycryo tarp for me. Probably should have gone over that. I hadn't done a video of this version. I made a few changes from what I had done previously. This is no longer a metal washer on the top, but one of the plastic ones that I've cut into uh, and just kind of taken off the rounded part so it's more sort of like a rectangle-ish. Uh, still using the nylon sail repair tape on the main seams. I overlap them quite a bit on the ends since they don't adhere quite as well to the polycryo. I don't have a very good pitch on this right now. It's not as tight as it should be, but <clears throat> there's very little wind. And then on each of the tie outs, now yeah, we've got another of the little plastic washers cut into a rectangle with some shock cord. And basically one in the middle for when it's really windy. You know, the two extra ones on the back end for when it's really windy. But other than that, wasn't much to it. This one, probably going to go away from it just because I'm tired of it taking up so much real estate in the pitch that I do. I don't like A-frame because I don't think it, it's as easy as to set up and provide as much coverage. I know you can close off the ends. David Gardner had done that on his... Uh, uh, A-frames that he sold for a while, and uh, but for the adventures out west, I can get by with it because I know that I can uh, abort if necessary. Uh, but if it really did have you know 40, 50 mile an hour winds, could be uh, an interesting time because <laughs> it will catastrophically fail if it does get a tear or something in it. So. That's the major downside of doing this. But uh, this one happened to be 9 by 7 which was a little bigger. I was just lazy and didn't want to cut off the extra foot from the one end. <clears throat> uh, I was running out of time of getting it prepared. Oh, and then I uh, guess I wasn't, didn't fully go over this, but like on the corners I have some of the transparent duct tape uh, reinforcement. One, just to make sure that the uh, nylon, sail, nylon sail repair tape does not uh, come off. And two, to distribute the load uh, over more of the surface area, which is the same reason why you see a piece, well, actually two, there's one on the top and one under on the underside. You know, so on each of the sides, you know, it's got that, the back, same way. I have the up on there just because the corners are what get done first, and it's not easy to tell immediately which side is up or down. Because I had pitched, not this one, but I've pitched the previous version upside down before. And the only real reason I do it down is because the nylon sail repair tape is on the underside so there's no chance of water getting into that and uh, delaminating it from the polycryo even more and there was another reason uh, I don't remember oh uh, the hems are folded in underneath on the bottom side so water could seep into the hem you know, of the double-sided tape that comes with this. This was made from the Duck brand heavy-duty patio, or large window, or whatever they call it. it. comes in a 10 by 7 sheet. So, that's kind of the uh, overview of the Rev4 
uh, of my polycryotarps.